Um, I log in. I use my resin so I can get a decent artifact. I don't get a decent artifact. I log off. That's what I do. That's, that, that's, that's, that is actually my daily rotation. Most of the time, I don't even do my, my commissions. I just, it just, it's just, it's, it just happens. All well, right. It appears that you've managed to win over part of the crowd. Some of your testimony. Also, I will say, I will say very quickly, I will say, I am a little bit burned on both Genshin and, and Star Rail and just gacha games in general. I am a bit burned because I just don't want to spend anymore. I'm like, it's another, it's another character. It's another uh, $200. It's like, like really? Like, I don't, I don't want to, I'm like, I'm like, another one comes out and I'm like, I don't need them. And I, you know who I blame? I blame for, uh, 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 Topaz. I blame Topaz. And partially I blame Tectone. Tectone, I blame you. I did not want to swipe on Topaz. I did not. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm feeling burnt a little bit. And I just don't want to swipe again. I'm a sane person. I don't want to, I don't want to swipe again. And then Tecton was like, I'll give you, I'm going to give you a hundred dollars if you don't get it on the next pull. It was obvious I was not going to get it on the next pull. So I swiped $30. I didn't get it. And then uh, Tecton gave me 100 bits. Now, I would like to call you out, Mr. Tectone. Mm -hmm. I would like to call you out because uh, if my calculations are correct, and they always are, because I am myself after all, if I dig into some prehistoric data, I should be able to find that you... Oh, give me a moment. That you indeed... That you, sir... Did not say 100, and therefore you try to pull the card on me and giving me 100 bits? No. You said $100. I will remember this. I will remember this. Anyway. Doesn't add up. You can be rest assured that I. Farina, the god of justice, will get to the bottom of this matter. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah, basically, basically, I was just, I was, I was, I was burned on, on HSR as well. And I was like, I don't, I don't even want to pull, uh, like, I don't, I want to swipe. I don't feel good swiping. It doesn't feel good. And then he was like, I'm going to give you a hundred dollars. And I was like, you know you what? That's guaranteed hundred dollars. If I spend 30, I just earn 70. You will remember it like your wow image contest participation. Sorry. And then he scammed me. So now I feel I feel offended now. I feel offended. Okay? I do feel a little bit burned. I I feel a little bit burned but but by just an avalanche of new characters and not much else. If it makes sense. But yes, uh I am streaming Classic WoW uh, November the 30th. No details shall escape me. I am. Me. I am. Yes. That sounds perfect. A god must be firm. Do not swipe. A god must not allow any. Do not swipe doesn't fix the issue of like, I, I, like I did, I did everything. I have nothing to do. Like I now understand the veteran uh, gacha players now. I now understand. Detail to slip through the cracks. <clears throat> My dear citizens, just as the will of a god remains opaque to the understanding of mere mortals, so too is truth unmoved by even the strongest of wills. I have I a feeling 4.2 is going to be all about Farina. If you honor the values of truth, justice, and divinity, then you are compelled to provide an accurate account of your actions. I have a, I have a feeling. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's not bad. Now what's next? <sighs> it's so hard to predict how people are going to react. What should I say during the trial tomorrow? Lady Farina, <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> As the god of justice, it is only expected that I should remain informed of every trial and make the necessary preparations. It mm -hmm. is 
there something that you like? They better blow me away, okay? With if you wish to seek an audience with me, then please make it. They better blow me away. in advance. They better. All right. They better. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique de Malice Cardinal, the Hydro are come to be punished via the death sentence. Good start. You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. Shouldn't gods be all-powerful? What's done is done. She's a fraud! You're Archon. Never mind whether you can truly convince yourself to or not. Okay. The show begins. Ah. Shower me with praise. That theme is really good. I, I know people like her. I'm kind of like, eh. I don't really, <laughs> I don't really care about her. It's pom pom. No, don't you, don't you dare talk about pom pom like that. Breaking news. I know you're not a local, but I'd avoid getting too close to any water that looks strange. All the same. There's something ominous about it. Well, the water, I mean. Uh -huh. The prophecy, yes. What has been prophesized will be fulfilled. I, Marina, <gasps> will use this trial to show the world the Go true boss. meaning Do of not justice. This judgment Please be challenging. Just. What is the meaning you would call this? You have this never been as justice. superficial as you have presented yourself Your to be. No God. more excuses. And why should we acknowledge it? Fuso, why did you deceive us? A blood and blade of judgment. Just a moment. This isn't right. The trial of the Hydro Archon. Seem to remember the floor will now this begin. This trial. I now understand the true purpose behind this position. Oh? You are a devious one, Fusalor. Everyone's dead. Papa, what should I do? Okay, 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 this looks badass. What is the lady from I Honkai Star Wars doing here? this would also be the justice that belongs to you. All will eventually end in a magnificent and Hello. dramatic trial. Farewell, Nervalette. How do people know who that is? I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these How do people know? Years. Was she in the game before? Very good. Okay, okay, I'll admit. Lord, okay, it's Twitter. Of course it's Twitter. Of course it's a Twitter. Of course. Of course, they always do this. Oh, I didn't use the I didn't use the code. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Eh, whatever. Four point two special program. There you go. Woo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, I the voice to skip of the through. female traveler Lumine, and I'm joined today by two guests to like bring the you the claims. latest news for the upcoming version. Okay, why don't you introduce yourselves? All right, yeah. Because we also good. still I'll need to start. watch the Honkai Star hey everyone, Wheel one, and this is gonna be long. I'm Amberly Connors, the voice of Farina, and we'll skip it. Oh, can I? I'm can I actually? Excited to be on this special People program are saying skip today. it. People are uh, saying skip it. All right, that's on you, not on hydro. me. I'm a... Totally. Fontaine's Archon, and she's a pretty big item. Okay. <laughs> oh, looks like Ray called it. <laughs> wow. Mm. Uh huh. There is nothing more important to Farina than attending trials at the Opera House. But this trial is a little different from the usual. Ooh. 
Interesting. Okay. I know, I know. I, I keep looking at the water rushing in. I'm like, what's happening? Yes, mm -hmm. it looks like there's some spotlights. I mean, and like, it's like <laughs> a, a curtain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I go further? Mm -hmm. Seems like, you know, maybe also Nouvellet is keeping an eye on things from, from yeah. behind the scenes, maybe? Very serious. He's always keeping an eye on stuff and always <laughs> just a little bit disappointed. <laughs> Fontaine is on the brink of coming true. Okay. And this is possibly no, not, the greatest crisis we've know. faced in our journey through to that. Definitely. In version 4.1, we learned about this precarious situation involving the rising primordial seawater. Yeah, we did. Nivellet barely arrived in time to hold back the seawater from engulfing the fortress of Meripede. I mean, still, they're just recapping the what I know. Poisson. Luckily, the okay, we can jump to Farina, right? Navia's leadership of the Spina de Rosula. Mm, huh. Once yeah. again, disappointed. Oh, yeah. no! Okay, to bolster right, everyone's confidence in Farina, let's, go. let's learn a little more about this one-of-a-kind Archon. <laughs> Why are you just standing there with your mouth gaping? <sighs> you must be stunned and at a loss for words. <laughs> Understandable. It is I, after all, Fontaine's mm -hmm. most beloved star, Farina. Mm -hmm. I'm on a very tight schedule, so you're lucky Different to be dress? I, did, I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Oh my gosh, I love her mm. outfit. Yes. Oh, and and her eyes, like each of them are. How do people tell? Yes. How do you oh, tell? You'd expect for a hydro archon. You'll that see. You Will I? Drip. Look at the oh. mini. Oh. I'm not looking at the <laughs> mini. <laughs> okay, maybe. It's, okay, okay, I think this just revealed it who you like are. She's always dressed like she's about to attend a performance. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> uh, that's fun. It's black. It was white before. For Great. You. And. A Speaking of drip, her pants, let's her crotch. Her yeah, that's exactly where I'm not looking. <laughs> I think you just play yourselves. <sighs> Being too popular can be such a hassle. Who knew the people would adore me so much? Short hair? I don't. Her hair is different. Is her hair actually different? I don't. <laughs> Your loss. Well. <laughs> oh, now I see. Okay. Oh, this is what you mean. Strike a pose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is what you mean. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Sure. I get it. The outfit. <laughs> ah. Okay. Whoa. That is wow. so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I like the way she kind of like bows. Very dramatic. Mm -hmm. She's yes. left-handed. Okay, don't you like don't even go into the details. Yes. Totally. Look, also, I am left-handed. Her presence really fills. That the explains space. everything. Else is just an extra. Mm -hmm. Wait. So the creatures that Farina summons, they look a lot like the Fontamer aberrants that we've encountered before. There's a seahorse, a crab, an octopus. Also, I hate. And they are all so cute. Yeah. Also, I hate <laughs> that everyone is calling it black pants. Oh my gosh, no. That's the marine blue, you idiots. What a distinguished little gentleman. Um, a uh, correction uh, here, Sarah. They're a oh? bit different from Fontamer aberrants, uh, okay. I would know. Uh, to my <laughs> knowledge, these creatures are Farina's, quote, honored guests. Yeah, sure. That's a um, marine blue. They help manage her daily affairs. You don't want to bring. You you don't want to make me bring up Photoshop. That's actually dark blue. It's called marine blue. It's not black. You know what? I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble my reputation on this. Okay. If it's if it's black, I'm gonna leave the stream. All right. If it actually turns out to be black, I'm gonna leave the stream. <laughs> Navy blue. You're right. Did I say hello, marine blue? Okay, uh, whatever. That's not the point. You're right. I think it's navy. Navy blue is closer, actually. Whatever. Whatever. We shall gamble our reputation on this. All right. Reputation is currently being gambled. Um. Um. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what is that? Oh, blue. Oh, what is it? You blue? Is this black? Yeah, sure. But is this is this is this going into uh, upwards into blue because it's blue? Oh. Okay, it looks gray because it's on a white and it's not okay. 
You know what? You know what's black? Learn the goddamn difference. All right. Anyway, I was right. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So, Farina often invites <laughs> guests to her tea party, which is known as the Salon Solitaire. Who cares? Keep watching. And I'm gonna ban you. Those creatures are actually because I special can. guests of the Salon Solitaire. Aww. Mm -hmm. And and I just prove I just prove to all of you I'm superior. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. So you've got the maid, Mademoiselle Crabaletta. <laughs> They're the best. The crab, the one that's a crab, I assume. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. And then you've got the housekeeper, Sir Intendant. Now he's Ramon. become tech tone? No, wrong. Because I ban people because I'm actually right, okay? Ah, there mm -hmm. he is. Mm -hmm. And the conferencier, Gentilhomme Usher. Oh. And that last one is a stickler for propriety. Oh, okay, okay. So when Farina said to make an appointment with Sir Intendant Cheval Moran, mm. this is who she was referring to? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Spew bubbles. I didn't know of course, it was you so can't do that. Cute. <laughs> there it is. Exactly. Farina even makes some there spew bubbles in her idol animation. Uh, of course. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. Why wouldn't it? Okay, Why wouldn't I'm it? I'm sure everyone is just itching to know more about the skills shown in that clip. So, Amber. <laughs> Why don't you take it away? Tell us everything. Yes, okay. you got it. Yay! So, Farina is a Hydro Sword user. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. She usually defaults to an Usia Arca alignment in combat. When in this state, her elemental skill invites the three members of the Salon Solitaire, Mademoiselle Crabaletta, Sir Intendant Chevalmeron, and Gentilhomme Usher to the stage. I I am never gonna pronounce those names. Love it. It's so cute. <laughs> um, and I would rather call it Crab uh, Seahorse and Crab Number Two. And, you know these um, salon members. Will Actually, it's an octopus. Never mind. It's a crab, octopus, and a seahorse. My opponent prioritizing the yep, target of the active character. Ooh. Their damage increases Sir the more crab. characters there are in the party over a certain HP amount. Okay, I was listening to okay. all that, but at the very <laughs> top, you said that she usually <laughs> defaults to an Usia Arca alignment. So she has more than one alignment? Yes, exactly. Farina's charged attack not only deals physical damage, but also allows her to switch between Usia and Numa Arca alignments. Whoa. Wow. Mm -hmm. they still her ability has 50 words, and 45 of them are made up names. From what we just saw, it seems like her Arca alignment has an effect on her other skills as well. Yes, sure does. Farina's elemental skill changes depending on whether she is aligned with Usia or Numa. That's cool. Uh, Usia or Numa, and Sir Pinchington is gonna pinch uh, the Mr. Flappy Tentacle, and they are gonna flip Lubel the dish Lubel. Super cool. Uh, after Farina uses yeah. her charged attack to switch to a Numa Arca alignment. Her elemental skill summons the Singer of Many Waters to provide healing to nearby party members. Oh, nice. Yes. Mm. The summons created by Farina's elemental skill will remain on so the she's a, for a period she's of time. She's a hydro even summoner. After Got Farina it. is switched out. <laughs> Farina's elemental burst deals damage to surrounding opponents. Right. And when the party member's HP increases or decreases, Farina will accumulate fanfare points. <laughs> Of course, because you need you need to farm the new artifact. Why else would she increase or decrease her health? Uh, <laughs> that's my trumpet. Um, Amazing. <laughs> so um, Farina increases the damage and the incoming healing bonus of nearby party members based on the amount of fanfare she has. Wow, it seems like this fighting style really suits Farina's character. It's very so showy she is and a sub DPS. Totally. I can already see the fluctuations in my team's HP bar. <laughs> that healing skill might come in handy. Yeah, for real. Okay. And, um, due to her knowledge she's of like a, water But she's more like a... Passive talent can... She's a sub... She's a, Exactly, she's a sub DPS healer, which means you just dunk your healers and another sub DPS. DPS increase. I don't want to say DPS creep, but it certainly does sound like a DPS creep, but okay. Decrease the cooldown on abilities gained from the Z. It's kind of like Banny in a lot of ways. It's kind of like Banny. Really good DPS support, but also a healer. Chromatic Fontmer Aberrants. Ooh. Wow, you can say that again. She yeah. isn't a healer? Yeah, so he's technically not Banny. <laughs> uh, and 
that'll make it even He's mainly easier to a DPS support. The secrets lurking in the depths. Oh, it's the secrets <laughs> lurking in the depths. <laughs> Oh, and I almost forgot, um, whenever one of Farina's summons is on the field, Farina gains the ability to walk on water. Oh my gosh, wow. that is so cool. <laughs> yes. Hey, um, I actually saw that Farina's okay. outfit changes whenever she switches between Arca lines. Oh yeah. Yeah, good eye, you're correct. You. It does change. <laughs> yeah, good eye, yeah, chat, good eye. Celebrity, I suppose. Good eye, uh, chat. <laughs> yes, uh, so Wait, why is it go go? Can Gogomi also walk on water? What can Gogomi do? I don't know. I don't have her. What, what, why, why is it Gogo over? Oh, during her ultimate. Oh, that is a power creep. Oh, they power crept yet again. Want to learn more about Farina? Then be sure oh, they to power crept it again. On her story quest, the Animula Kuraji chapter. Ah, amazing. Hmm. Okay. So next up, we have another old friend to introduce. She's now able to join the Traveler's oh. Party with her trusty companion, Monsieur Verite. That's right. I don't really. It's Charlotte. I don't really. Yay! Oh, <laughs> She's fine. So cute. We've known Charlotte for a while now. The Traveler met her during She's the fine. Summoner Summit event, which took no, them don't, on an all over to that. Don't yes, do pom-pom dirty right. like this. Charlotte's hard-hitting experience pom -pom is so cool. to uncover the truth Really leave an impression, She's don't fine. Yeah. She's good. That's right. During our journey in Fontaine, no bomb -bomb, did she treat the traveler to a magnificent meal in order to get a scoop about Ridesley? Ooh. Though she didn't end up getting the interview that she wanted in the end, huh? <laughs> but I don't think that will deter her. She'll always be in search of the truth. The world is her treasure chest, and only her camera can determine its contents mm -hmm. and the truths they contain. Ooh. Speaking of her camera, Monsieur Verite just so happens to be her greatest assistant and companion. They're friends. Charlotte's talent for photography is truly a marvel. Okay. No matter the subject or setting, her photos somehow always capture an unparalleled sense of artistry. Sure, give me the, the gameplay. Peerless Monsieur Verite turns her photos into eye-catching mementos. In fact, many Fontanians even cut the prints out of the newspaper and keep them as clippings. Oh, that's so cool. And Monsieur Verite is so cute, even as his own little hat and tie. <laughs> I know. Charlotte actually commissioned both of those items from Chiori. She even commissioned Monsieur Lord. Verite's accessories in several different styles to match different interview settings. Isn't that good? Wow, <laughs> that is pretty thoughtful. I suppose that just shows how much Charlotte cherishes her own Monsieur Verite. Yes, it really does. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at Charlotte's character showcase, shall we? Ooh, let's yes. Do it. Okay. If you keep your eyes peeled and your mind engaged, you'll find there's always a new story nearby just waiting to be discovered. Is she a catalyst user? No, spear. Did I see spear? Breaking news! She's a catalyst. Why did I see a spear? Okay. Wow. Oh, amazing. <laughs> yes, she okay. Because really like, like the attacks with around. the with taking pictures. Yes. That's actually cool. Uh, honestly, <laughs> it's just what you'd expect. She's of a, a lot closer to like Mars. Even her combat I guess. skills involve taking photos. Isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, that and then sense. like what a lively mm. character. Her combat moves, like I was saying, she's moving around. They're super yes. dynamic. <laughs> it yes. seems like she's first catalyst cryo. Isn't that factually wrong? Because of Ridgely. <laughs> Always on the move. <laughs> Who's on the march? Exactly. Charlotte is an yeah. expert at applying the skills and talents that she's developed as a reporter to other areas of her life, and that includes combat. With her trusty companion, Monsieur Verite, she captures enemies from all angles, unleashing attacks while discovering and exposing their weaknesses. Yes. Honestly, I would expect nothing less from one of Fontaine's most famous reporters. Who knew cameras could do that, though? <laughs> I didn't know oh you could use them as a weapon. How are you? <laughs> Where you know, I guess. Thank you for five okay, this up. some cool stuff. I really do appreciate Thank you. elemental skill applies snappy Thank you. to opponents caught within the viewfinder of a camera. During this effect's duration, Thank marked you. opponents will intermittently take damage. Whoa. Holding Charlotte's elemental skill strengthens these effects Adult? and applies focused impression to opponents instead. Mm. Now her elemental burst creates a news flash field that continuously restores HP to party members. That gameplay? That gameplay 
looks fun though. Within its range. Monsieur Verite, he's also gonna join in and intermittently She's she's affliction warlock! Doesn't look very warlocky to me. Hack opponents during the duration of the What kind of, of the a ability. devil does she have, huh? As an experienced reporter, Charlotte is an expert at adapting her methods to match the needs of her target. When paired with Fontaine characters, Charlotte <laughs> receives a healing bonus. When paired with non-Fontaine characters, I had she the camera is the devil, you're right. Bonus. It's the camera. Now that is not all. There is more. <laughs> during the 4.2 special event, travelers can complete a quest to receive a special gadget called the zoom lens. Ooh. When Charlotte activates the zoom lens, it will trigger her passive talent called first person shutter. Oh my gosh. That's when you amazing. hold her elemental skill, the gadget will cause you to enter photo mode instead. That is so cool. That is not cool. There I say it is stupid. There I say it is a stupid feature that should be part of the game from the very beginning. Dare I say, this is uh, one of the stupidest things I have seen so far in this game. They are actually, like, I know what they are going for. I liked it. Why is it a paid feature? Why is photo mode paid? Oh, no, wait, hold on. Not only paid, it's only... Wait, you're telling me it's not? But it's... She is using an elemental skill for it. Did I, did I misunderstand it? Wait, is it... Okay, okay, so it's not paid, but it's only for one event. That does not make it any better. <laughs> that does not make it any better. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. That is super rad, and you know, it's not I okay. Hold on. What a cutie! It's a shortcut. Generic. Furry. We'll take it for the prime. Wait, okay, okay. Did I misunderstand it? Then it's it's permanent. I have a feeling some super cool pictures are going to come out of that. Oh, yeah. We are going to provide... <laughs> Wait, but you need... I'm going back. Hold on. Just to avoid misinformation. Okay, hold on. We're going back. She We're going back. She receives a cryo damage bonus. Now that is not all, there is more. <laughs> During the 4.2 special event, travelers can complete a quest to receive a special gadget called, called the Zoom Lens. Ooh. We get a gadget. Ooh. When Charlotte activates the Zoom Lens, it will- When Charlotte activates the Zoom Lens! It will trigger her passive talent called First Person Shutter. Oh my gosh, that's When you amazing. hold her elemental skill, <laughs> the gadget will cause you to enter photo mode instead. That is so cool. Yep. That is super rad, and you know I. They make it sound. Maybe I'm just an um, idiot. They make it sound like only she can enter the first person uh, photo mode. Super cool pictures are gonna come out of that. Oh yeah. We are gonna provide <laughs> more information about the zoom lens and how to use it during the event overview portion. So. Ah, right, event overview. Arena okay, well. and Charlotte will both be featured in version 4.2 event. Why zoom again? It wasn't released that long ago. Okay. Wishes. Ooh. In the first half of version 4.2, we'll have event wishes showcasing okay. Farina and Baiju. During this time, Charlotte will also receive a huge drop rate boost. Huge boost. <laughs> <laughs> huge boost. A new five-star sword, Splendor of Tranquil Waters, All right, what's will sword? be featured in the weapon event banner. And HP. <laughs> and in the second half of version 4.2, uh, okay, we'll have reruns for Sino and. Maybe I'll try and get Ayato without swiping. Maybe. Because he always looked fun with just standing there and everything dying. And Ayato. Hmm. Okay, let's Maybe. take a look at what other information Maybe. we can learn from Farina's itinerary. Hmm, it looks like she. By him standing, I mean, you know, the, the attack. <laughs> oh, there's even a report attached. Tell us what it says. Stop trying to okay, swipe. Well, I literally told you without swiping. Strange rumblings have been Don't. heard in the depths Don't. of Fontaine's waters. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's. This here boss already? did look cool. Oh, that's what's that? Oh. Well, well, well. 
Yeah, well, 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 I'm skipping all of this because spoilers. I don't want, I don't want to watch it. Ew, <laughs> it looks like it's in a- I don't wanna! You can skip this part. Can I go here? Nope, nope, nope. Goodbye. Experience for travelers to enjoy. Oh, I'm skipping. I love that. Now we don't need to worry about getting narwhals. stuck while narwhals trying to advance. Narwhals swimming in the ocean causing a commotion cause they are so awesome narwhals. Narwhals swimming in the ocean pretty big and pretty white. They beat a polar bear in a fight like an underwater unicorn. They've got a kick butterfly facial horn. They're the Jedi of the sea. They stop Cthulhu eating ye. The main story. Totally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm happy you hey, got that out um, of your system. That was system. a lot of information, wasn't it? Can we take a short <laughs> little break while we have a look at the second redemption code, maybe? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <sighs> You Not all copy inspired. pasta. That's not a copy pasta. That's a that's a song from the hey, from Nicrit, uh, Are you going to be on X Snappy League of Legends concert? If so, I hope we will meet their smiley face. I don't think I will be able to. I actually don't know which date that is. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. Sorry for uh. Uh. I don't know what the date that is. I don't think I will be able to because I will be extremely busy, unfortunately. Snappy, that's a check. That's a check streamer, right? Or content creator, rather. I know that that a concert is happening. I will be unfortunately. Hello, travelers. Welcome back to the version 4.2 special program. Hello. Hello, hello. Yay! <laughs> So, we've introduced new characters, new plot lines, and a new boss. But I hope you're still eager for new content, travelers, <laughs> because there's still more to come. Let's take a look at what other information we can learn from Farina's itinerary. Okay, aside from investigating crises, it seems like our Hydro Archon also goes on occasional excursions throughout Fontaine. Oh, is it gonna be goofy <laughs> Who knew events? Who she did all this work behind the scenes? Yeah, goofy mm, event time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, maybe she's just using it as an excuse to scout out a place for one of her tea parties. Oh. Farina and excuses. <laughs> Typical. <clears throat> hey, it seems like the places Farina has chosen to visit this time feature some peculiar landscapes. Mm. Oh, yeah. It looks like Farina is in Erinias Forest on the east side of Fontaine. Mm. And that's right behind the Opera House. What a cool East side, place! Right behind the house. Although, it does kind of look like it could be hiding okay. some secrets. <laughs> definitely wouldn't be a video game if there weren't secrets. Oh Things yeah. Things <laughs> are definitely not what they seem here. For example, Another tree, strange I mean. things have been happening with the water veins around Loch Urania. As you can see, a strong windstorm has gathered around the vortex rising from the middle of the lake. Uh -huh. It's almost like it's preventing certain things from getting closer and forcibly pushing other things away. Hmm. I can be so sarcastic here. I have so many sarcastic jokes here. Such as... I can't wait to find which one of the right side quests is gonna unlock this area for me so I can finally explore it while going through a lot of dialogue. Which I have to read because it's not narrated because it is, it is a side quest, specifically. That's, that's one that I have. Mm. And take a look at this. The foggy nope, I mean, forest path. It looked very much like the, the entire side quest with the island in Inazuma. That fog is really thick. Yeah. That's why they call it the foggy forest path. But what about this area? The I, I mean, I the hope lake. it's not there. Ooh, it looks That's why I'm being sarcastic, of course. And, and the water doesn't look quite <laughs> right. Mm -mm. Like, it's cloudy or something. Do you see that? Yeah. Exactly. I'm, not, I'm not talking about Rue. I'm, not, I'm talking about the, 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 wall, the electric wall. Seems like Verena also realized something was off. I don't know what it looks like she had an underwater to investigate. Gold. And what did she find? A number of contaminated bacterial mats. No, there uh -oh. are two. Ew. One was the one was the furnace furnace, right? That was the that was the, the midair midair little island. The other one is the, the big one where at the very top you have the the, the electric miniboss. Speaking of there are always they new did things it twice to discover in, 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 waters. <laughs> in this update, we'll encounter a new type of Fontamer aberrant, the Xenochromatic Ball Octopus. Tar -tar. Yeah, that's the one. can borrow its abilities to cleanse away the contamination clots and contamination cores from the bacterial mats. Pretty cool. In addition, with the help of a special device, 
Travelers will be able to use this creature's abilities on the surface as well. They may be the key to solving certain puzzles or perhaps even powering certain objects. But we'll leave okay. that for you to discover. Okay. To learn more about the story behind the new Erinius Forest region, be sure to check out the version 4.2 world quest called The Wild Fairy of Erinius. Alrighty. I'll give you a hint. If it is locked behind, behind the, the main Archon yeah. quest. Melusine's really? Melusine. That's a lot better than side quests. Oh, then it would certainly be a world quest that you would want to I saw the skip. little bubble transforming it. <laughs> to the south of Erinius Forest, you'll find the Mort region. There. Okay. A singular tower stands tall above an island in the middle Mort. of the sea. Perhaps it's also guarding someone's spirit. More dog made it. Ooh. Actually, it looks he like made it the Genshin. very next stop on Farina's itinerary. He's such a good so dev, he made it. Out. Okay, I bet a bunch of travelers noticed this tower since they've arrived in Fontaine. I'm so excited that we finally get to check it out. Yes, same. Uh, yeah, in version 4.2, the sealed ruin tower is the focus of a quest mage tower? <laughs> search in the algae sea. If they actually put in a mage tower challenge, I would lose my shite. Ooh. I know. <laughs> and after unlocking -uh, four no seals tower. along its perimeter, the tower and its long buried secrets will be unveiled to us. Oh, amazing. Okay, it would feel great to finally demystify all the secrets churning under the seemingly calm waters. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want answers. Um, I also <laughs> We all want answers. Um, I also heard this quest has something to do with the primordial sea. Hmm. It seems like there's a very important That entire teaser for the storyline story sounds cool to me. That is very right. The entire New story storyline with Rina here. You know what? Sure. Above water or below. And this is not limited to the two new regions in this update. The prophesied earthquake woke up new life forms in other places where destinies intersect. I really like the design of this boss. I really do. Oh, wow. destiny. I am afraid it's going to be the same thing with the seahorse, where I went in and that was the first time. Because going into Fontaine was the first time I ever went into... A mini, a world mini boss, whatever you call them, while being like uh, overpowered for what I'm supposed to do. Because before that, I didn't do. I wasn't even near uh, abyss twelve. I was like abyss eleven, and I was happy about it, right? So like that was the right amount of challenge. When I when I when I when I went into Mr. Beast pose, wait, what? What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? What's happening with Mr. Beast? I'm, I, I don't know what's happening. I actually don't know what's happening. <laughs> when I... When I... Um, <laughs> when I bet for Horsey in, in, in Fontaine... <laughs> when I went for... When I went for Horsey in Fontaine, I... He literally died in like 10 seconds. And I'm, and I'm, I hope it's not gonna be the same, but it's gonna be the same, I guess. Destinies! Destinies! In certain underwater cave, a new life form is waking up. It has greater and more diverse powers of transformation while mm, in combat. Be so don't let your guard down, travelers. Get some yes. manners, this is my and realm. Some places still seem to tell the stories of events long past, no matter how long they've been abandoned. So, in this update, travelers can also look forward to the climax of the Narcissan Croix adventure questline that was introduced over the last two versions. Mm. And there might even be an unexpected surprise waiting at the end. Like what? a challenge? A surprise! <laughs> I can't wait to see what it is. I will. Same. All right, there's a lot to discover in the new areas of the map, but Farina's itinerary doesn't stop there. Oh, wait. It looks like she's arranged to spend some time with her subjects. Aww. Hmm. Farina yeah. is pretty personable. Who's I to mean, say? Uh, companion even at the quests or whatever they are, they are called here. Speaking well, of, let's move on to the event portion. Characters request? Okay, never mind. All right. The Fontaine Fishing Association has recently Fishing! posted a commission to investigate the rumors of water imps near Arrhenius Island. Ooh, another investigation. I know. Oh, We're not gonna oh, be fishing, are, are we? Seems to be involved. It does that look little fishy. clockwork penguin next to him must be one of his other companions. 
But it doesn't look like pear. Actually, its name is Thelxie. There's no the name fishing. comes from a Fontanian fairy tale that describes a terrifying creature that lives underwater. I have never Adults been would this use betrayed. The story to keep children away from the shore. As the story goes, children who play by the water are food for Thelxie to devour. Ooh, Jeepers. yeah, uh -huh. real. Ugh, well, children There's must no be fishing. pretty afraid. Why of that is there creature. no fishing I event, know, right? huh? <laughs> it does seem a little unusual for Fremenade to give this little penguin. Why a name don't like you that? go on an adventure there and find a giant shark reason. that you catch? Wait, uh, hey, does this event also have something to do with this clockwork penguin? Mm. Absolutely. There was one. In this event, there should be we'll more. Be Fremenade make some improvements to this little clockwork. Too many penguin. complaints? Well, there screw will be them. A total of three main stages to the event. As for the first stage, we'll repair the penguin by fixing its circuits and reconnecting the motherboard. They don't deserve In anything return, nice for complaining the anyway. Will help us out on our journey. Oh, I Pretty love cool. that. Uh, As our journey progresses, we'll collect colorful like shells, mini -games. corals, and other items which can be used to outfit our I like little fiber weapons games. and equipment. Which brings us to the second stage of the Alrighty. event. Using an echoing conch to search underwater and find the items that we need for the penguin. Mm. Ah, the echoing and, conch is our uh, way you know, ah, what, what happens if we oh run my God. into certain Harry. speed bumps on our adventure? You know, like monsters. Why are five stops? What are you doing? All that jazz. What are you doing with your precious well, money? Well, it seems like the perfect opportunity for a little penguin buddy. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Exactly. I really do appreciate it. In the third stage of the event, the clockwork penguin will help Gosh, us defeat it. monsters lurking around a specific domain and obtain any treasures Wasting that they Wasting your money on someone who's getting cr of grumpier. Course, the clockwork penguin will provide different buffs in each battle to help travelers emerge victorious. Whoa. Now, as for the story. You know why this sucks? The penguin is not gonna be transformative, is it? <laughs> it's like every there has never been an event that did it the way I always wanted it to, where the the, the gameplay mechanic it introduces is actually like important. <laughs> they have never done, they have never done, one of these events with a combat mechanic where anyone cared about the combat mechanic. Story behind these battles, travelers will just have to find out for themselves. See, by like, like, use After the penguin as a shield, for example. Give me like one of those. Uh, the penguin has a shield and a sword. Give me one of the one of the fights where you spawn like four of uh, Vivians of the lake. They all turn into cannons. They start shooting at you, but they are so quick you can't dodge it. So you have to actively use the penguin to hide behind the shield to survive. As an example. After helping the penguin, the next item on the itinerary Instead, is... Instead, everything dies. The penguin is standing there. Is... Oh, the cute little fungi are back. Cool. Hania, a friend we I met mean, in uh... Meru, has arrived in Fontaine to promote Lil Fungi's fantastic fiesta. Oh, and speaking of Counterpoint. Fun... <laughs> Counterpoint the photo-taking event. <laughs> God damn it. Guys... <laughs> I think I recognize some familiar All right, faces. Is it the third round? <gasps> Bongo head. I, I only was there for number shine. two. Yay. Number two was good. <laughs> Travelers may notice some differences two was good. in this update's fungi. I event. wasn't there for the original. Aside from taking place in Fontaine, the gameplay has also been optimized. Okay. Previously, we led the little fungi in battle against Mechanicai. Yes. This time, we'll have the opportunity to challenge a whole host of powerful monsters. Mm. Awesome. Travelers will be able to command a variety of fungi, adjusting their movement to target different enemies. I and genuinely don't forget to use. If I was leading a gaming company, if I had my own game studio, I would love to make a game like this. This is one of the game ideas I have had for a while. Where imagine MMO, imagine you're fighting a raid boss. I'm, I don't know how many of you actually played WoW or something like that. Imagine, imagine Onyxia's lair. There is Onyxia, giant dragon in the middle of the room. You don't play as, as a one character in an MMO team. It's actually an RTS where you control all, all 40 members of the raid. You pick the targets for the healers, like who they heal. You pick who the DPSs are, are supposed to DPS. You move the tanks so that the dragon doesn't burn your raid. And you play the entire raid as an RTS, but you are like the dungeon master. Why has no one ever made a game like this? Raid Leader Simulator. That's actually a game I, I gave it. It's Baldur's Gate. No, re, no, it's not an RTS because an RTS is all about you building a building a base and then you build an army from that base. That's not it. This is literally, you have 40 units and you go with those units and you beat a boss. 
Like StarCraft, not at all. <laughs> because StarCraft is you start small, you build a base, and you like go across the map. This is not it. This is this is literally you have like 40, 40 little team members. And what if what if when you kill the boss, the boss gives loot and you give the loot to your raid members? What if you actually turn it into a simulator and some of the raid members get angry that other raid members got loot over them and they leave and now you have to make get better shitty members? Huh? No, you're all saying like Mountain Blade and all of those. None of them are even close to what the game I would like to make. Use marvelous gels. Which is why I think that idea is golden. Instruct the little fungi to have yeah, raid manager. skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Travelers will hopefully enjoy playing with the fungi. I wish more I had a gaming ever. studio and Here's I could make hoping. this one. We uh, actually I have a little note here to pass along from our developer friends. It's the note some unfolding. <laughs> well, they hope to make the little FIFA, fungi and some other events you. permanent so travelers can play at any time. <laughs> the team feels that the current design doesn't adequately sustain long-term gameplay. So, they're going to continue iterating, optimizing, and improving this event while also working hard to develop interesting content that is relevant to the overall game. Thanks, devs. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thanks, thanks, devs. All right. Okay, mm. let's take a look at what else Farina's itinerary has in store. Oh, it's the Graph Adversarial Technology Experiment Log. I'm more than ready to fight right. some adversaries. Let I mean, me at them. The, the permanence is cool. That's kind of what I have to say on this. On this, It's cool. It's cool. You know what? Maybe they will make the game that I just talked about, huh? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, but it doesn't actually involve fighting. Well, well, we'll just have to wait and see. The graph adversarial technology okay, has hold made on. great contributions. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me let me pay extra. Let me let me pay extra attention here. Graph adversarial technology experiment log. I'm more than ready to fight some adversaries. Let me at them. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, but it doesn't actually involve fighting. A researcher obsessed with graph adversarial technology has made great contributions to the study of counter-criminal image recognition. She believes that her research can help her achieve great success. Okay. But her scholarly responsibilities make it difficult for her to collect the field samples. I'm she happy needs. she's saying this because most people are gonna skip mm, I'm all guessing the text. this is where the traveler comes in. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. <laughs> but Pauline's request is actually pretty reasonable. To receive rewards, simply submit photographs of five different sample types that match the characteristic that's cool. given on each day. Sounds simple enough. You can also exchange these samples with your friends. You might be able to, to find useful references for the samples that you need to collect in the Adventure Archive. At First of all, who has friends? Second of all, who's gonna do that? <laughs> At the end of the quest, travelers will receive a special gift from Pauline. Ooh. Mm. That's right. It's the zoom lens <gasps> we mentioned during Charlotte's uh, character introduction. You have friends? That mofo back there is not real. Then, oh, how fun. To use it, just equip the camera and activate the zoom lens in your inventory. The zoom lens can be attached to all cameras obtained in the game up to this point. When equipped with other characters, the zoom lens won't be able to be used in combat, but if you switch to Charlotte and hold your elemental skill, you'll be able to snap picks with zoom lens even while fighting. Wow. Oh, so the difference is that she can do it in combat. Wait, isn't this a gadget from a limited event though? Watch? Okay, it better be available for a currency or something. You can even use it in domains. Ooh. Double wow. In domains! I could have used this when I was making my videos. I actually wanted to use this when I when I I actually wanted to have a cool background so I can be there on a green screen in a in a domain because the domains are so cool. Oh. Uh oh my gosh, that's awesome. And I bet travelers will be able to capture some. Uh, it's too late now. Co-op mode too. Mm -hmm. And even if future you videos, I honestly don't know what would have to happen in Genshin for me to make a full-on video on it on on the main channel. Unless there is some drama, I don't know. I actually wanted to make a video about the botting drama in Honkai Star Rail. Chance to participate the view in the event. On stream. There's no need to worry. Travelers will still be able to obtain the zoom lens after the event ends. Sweet. <laughs>
Okay, no details given. Good. Okay. Uh -huh. it it's available. Seems okay. Like Farina has okay, I take it back. What I thought is that the lens had a had a purpose, and then only Charlotte could use it for <laughs> for actually like photo mode. Thank God. Thank God, because that would have been actually the worst thing imaginable. I still don't understand why it's not just a base feature in the game, but whatever. Also learn of the existence of a domain shrouded Thank in God. mist. <laughs> <laughs> Travelers You're right, it's probably gonna be a lot of Mora. Yeah, uh, didn't they do the same thing for one of the for all the windy instruments in Mondstadt? who master the ley line features and put together the strongest party will be able to easily yeah. beat their opponents. Now, less experienced travelers like myself don't need to worry either. Using trial characters and taking advantage of the buffs brought about by the ley line are also great ways to nah, come I, out on I always ignore them. That's right. And travelers not only do I ignore the buffs, I make sure to, to not read them the final so that my Ooh. chat can be extra spicy. <laughs> also, the Leyline Overflow event will return at the end of version 4.2. Now might be the perfect time to start building your parties. Okay. Hopefully, you're all excited for the fabulous events that version 4.2 has in store. But there are still more surprises to share. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I let's know. get into them. <laughs> Well, before we get into them, let's what? take a quick break to have a look at the final redemption code for today. All right, great. You in Missed event. another one. Moving on. Okay, I just took a look at Lady Farina's itinerary, and it seems we've actually reached the end. Aww. Oh, is that actually the end? So we've submitted our appointment request to Sir Intendant Cheval Moran. While we're waiting to hear back, let's see what system optimizations we have for the I saw what's version. coming, okay. Let's get into it. Okay. So first up is the quick challenge feature for weekly bosses. New players or players who prefer to spend their time exploring may have yet to unlock certain weekly bosses. And it's uh -huh. difficult to raise new characters when you can't access the boss drops needed to ascend a certain character. Totally uh -huh. true. In version 4.2, travelers who are at adventure rank 40 or above will have the option to quick challenge a weekly boss by navigating to the Trounce Domain section of the Adventure Handbook. It is good. I don't know. That's gonna kind of make it the experience of new players weird. Did people actually want this? Like, I purposefully didn't want this because I didn't want to get spoiled on, on, on bosses and stuff. All weekly bosses will be available to challenge, except Storm Terror and the Wolf of the North. You're right, that if you are AR-40, at that point you are pretty far in, in Genshin anyway, and you are probably just ignoring the, the quest anyway. <laughs> or... I don't know. <laughs> nice. You're um, right, that yeah, AR-40 now, is quite far. we don't have to far. wait to advance the story before we can level up a new character's talents and skills. Exactly. Also, we're introducing an update mm. to Genius Invocation TCG. Ooh. In version 4.2, Three new character cards and five new action cards will be added. There will also be an Accelerate Duel feature, which will provide a smoother gaming experience. Pretty cool stuff. After the version 4.2 update, deck sharing codes will also be available. Use them to show off your strongest deck or take inspiration from other travelers. That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. And, you know, since the number of card combinations just keeps increasing, the number of mm -hmm. decks a player can save has been increased from 10 to 20. Double. Double. <laughs> Double. And in addition, both the maximum number of starting slots and the number of slots unlocked at each player level upgrade have been increased from two to four. Double again. Nice. Double. Double again. The, de <laughs> the developers have also made a number of optimizations to the Genius Invocation TCG interface. Heat and battle mode and the Forge Realms Temper Endless Swarm will also return in version 4.2. Ooh. And in addition to the updates made to Genius Invocation TCG, returning travelers will enjoy ample login rewards and exploration guidance courtesy of the Genshin Impact Project team. May those returning to that have a happy reunion. Aw, that's nice. Yeah. Plus, a new story key privilege has also been added so that returning travelers can enjoy new story quests and hang out events. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Red notification dots have also been optimized. Notifications that have already been cleared will no longer reappear when logging in on a different platform. Yeah. Okay, it's actually Quest good optimizations for will also be available in version 4.2. The first one pertains to unlocking story quests. Traveler. <sighs> Inspire me. You're way too late. You promised this for... You can speed up the video by holding the space. I didn't know that, actually. <laughs> they promised this before, and I got baited. I thought this was already in the game, and I accidentally started Lenny's quest, and then I got screwed. Players will now get to choose whether to accept a story quest after unlocking it. Whoa, nice. And holding space doesn't and work. Hopefully, travelers won't be... 
overwhelmed by a sudden influx of quests anymore. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the update has also made notifications about prerequisites. I didn't notice this is even this cool. I'm gonna be, making it easier for I'm players gonna make to sure to I can. I'll, I'll have great awesome. use with this. Okay, great. Oh, and it seems like that's all we have for the latest version update. I guess that means it's time for the 4.2 special use program this to come to a close. No. Oh. I know. <laughs> well, there's so much exciting stuff happening. And um, I know personally, aside from all the intrigue around the story and characters, I am personally I mean, yeah. very jazzed for the this fun is... guy events. <laughs> yes, how can you not be? They are keep on adding <laughs> so much thing. cool stuff to this game. For this me, I love the idea of the combat camera. Um, oh, yeah. But uh, uh, for me and Monsieur Nubin, the main storyline looks incredible. The, the main storyline <laughs> looks um, awesome. This has been so much fun with both of you i'm really grateful we could all be here today together and um honestly i'm just really and glad that we're gonna get to see how all these mysteries it. unfold mm -hmm. and maybe i don't know maybe i don't know what else i don't know what else ending i don't know what else point two, we'll have to see i don't know what else <laughs> um but that's it for the version 4.2 special program thank you so much everybody and see you all in game bye, bye. yay you're trolling your audience with the okay. And then that that was my audience. Okay. Uh impact. Um sixteen hours ago, one million views, of course. Um We did watch this one, right? This is the trailer they showed uh at the beginning of the game. And this is the one, right? Opera walks the line between truth and fiction. For though the story is fictional, as far as the characters are concerned, their fate is real. the rub. Are you and I the audience or characters on the stage? Uh -huh. Nobody can know for sure. After all, nothing is easier to fool than the senses. We know only one thing for certain, that the prophecy is true. Because in this show, the prophecy is a part of all characters' fates. Don't believe me? So, you still haven't noticed that I'm not even speaking to you. This is just a record. To be fair, that's mostly because they don't animate the, the lips, because um, they figured they don't really look good unless you like fully 3D animate a character, so they usually like keep them locked. So don't you, don't you dare, don't you dare gacha me. Recording playing in your head. They do, yeah, they do. They do, but they they, they always lip sync for uh for the Chinese for the original Chinese dub, which is why it kind of uh, it kind of looks ro robotic, and a lot of people complain about that. Which is why I wouldn't be surprised if they just froze her. Which is why. Now, do you see? The prophecy has come true, and everything has been lost to the great flood. And you are the only one I have left. Doggo! That's the justice machine! And so, while fate may seem like it's playing cruel jokes on you, only fate will not deceive you. This is cool! This is cool. Unless you can first deceive fate itself. I like this little mysterious teaser. Deceive who? Yeah, I don't know. It seems like I don't know. I don't know. I could I could I could spew totally random things. I could spew totally random things like Farina used to be an Archon. 
and then she had to give up on her powers to protect the people, and now she's like, she's she has to like, uh, uh, see she will like she's relying on us deceiving her into believing that she herself wasn't an archon or something like this. I don't know. It's a mystery. That's kind of the port. That's the port. <laughs> no, that's the point, right? You can you can totally just spew up totally random things. I don't know. It's cool. Give us your theory. I don't really have a big theory on this because I I don't know enough about this. I don't know enough about this to be honest. That's kind of it's kind of what it is. I think it's gonna be something about. I th I wouldn't be surprised if it was if it was too far or or if it wasn't too far away from uh, Nahida. Where like the truth is about a bit of a deception. Where the main character does not know does cannot see the full picture, kind of like what happened to to Nahida. I would I wouldn't be surprised if if a similar thing was ha was happening here. The reason why I don't believe it's gonna be happening is because why would they reuse a similar plot point, pl pl plot point, uh, twice in a row? It's not. It's not that you can't use it again. There are cool twists that you can give this and like make it feel like a totally different version of of a, of a story that, that that was told before. But sure, why not? All right, hold on. Since we're here, I might as well. Um, uh, I might as well. Since even though I don't really, I'm not really, I'm not really. Um, might as well. As long as I keep digging, it will shake the world like no other news report in history. We might, might as well. Your credible source of the unbelievable truth. That's my journalistic motto. What's the news? To put it in adventurer terms, I guess for me, it's all about the thrill of the chase. All right, let's get this interview started. Again, the combat, her her gameplay looks cool because she is, she is essentially an affliction warlock. I like the little top gameplay. Say cheese. People aren't always very fond of journalists. You know what they say: lies are soft and malleable, but the truth is sharp and inflexible. The time has come for your interview. Ready to be a star? Okay, I mean, I, I, I can't. I'm not like, I'm not brutally excited about her. She's all right. Did you read the paper yet? No. Chime, Zimmer. Thank you for a rhyme. I'll read it for you. It's fine. 